Hello, Jan Copeland here. Let me get, this is, I think I'm live on Girl's Guide. Am I live on Girl's Guide? Let's see, I'm trying to go live on Girl's Guide and Libby Girl Success Boutique. Yes, I'm live there, okay. All right, now Libby Brin, no, Libby Girl Success Boutique. Hi, Stephanie. I have the worst headache. Oh my gosh. Hi, Donna. I am trying to go live in two places, so bear with me. <clears throat> so how are you guys? Sorry for the dead time on um, Girl's Guide. I wanted to get live also on Livy Girl Success Boutique. Oh, yeah, it is kind of like I'm there. I definitely would love to visit and come back. Hi, Brandy. All right, so this is going to be a little weird because I got feedback that I need to be on both. So I'm looking now at Girl's Guide, and then here, now I'm looking at, I'm trying to get you guys as close as possible. Now I'm looking at Libby Girl Success Boutique. So let's see if that could stay. All right, ladies. I have the worst headache that I've ever had in my life, and it's really weird. I'm not used to having headaches, so bear with me. I'm not really myself. And um, if any of you know and have been following my Friday weekly mini trainings, uh, once a month we have cleaners. And so am I the only one who has to clean up for cleaners? If you have to clean up for cleaners, can you please let me know? Hi, GD and Lynn over here at Living Girl Success Boutique. I have been frantically trying to get ready because we finally got our um, shades and they're magnificent and I will post pictures, but right now the house is too much of a disarray for me to do that. But anyway, today we're going to talk about, okay, good, Stephanie, I'm not alone. Um, yeah, good, good, good. So I'm not the only one that cleans up for cleaners. All right, listen, ladies, I have to be short and brief because... Um, we have to take my son to the doctor. He's been, he's home from college and he's been having dizzy spells and his heart hurts. So doesn't sound good. So we need your prayers on that. <clears throat> Three key scripts. And you know, I don't like the word scripts, but it caught your attention, right? I like to call them conversations, but whatever they are, we're going to talk about, thank you, Sandra. We're going to talk about three key scripts to increase confidence. And that means more clients, and more money, okay? More closings. But before I get into that really quickly, I just wanna say that we have 24,718 members uh, in the Girl's Guide to Outrageous Real Estate Success. And I just wanna say that when Judy and I came up with this concept a year and four months ago, our heart really wanted it to be a safe place, a sisterhood of community for agents to come in and ask questions and talk real and share struggles and share wins and be supported, no drama. And I am very happy to say that when drama tries to enter, we delete the comment hopefully before you see it, um, but we are proud that we have almost 25,000 women and we're 25,000 women strong in the sisterhood, which is amazing, right? I mean, I don't know of any other place that that is a true sisterhood. So I wanted to share with you some of the, some of the, you know, texts and emails or such that we've gotten. So Stacy said, what a godsend your community is. Emily said, wow, I catch every five day challenge and it's made such a difference in my life. I am truly a different person. Wow. Cool. Kate says, I feel so confident now. Thank you. You have a 100% safe space to turn to. That's why I wanted to read that, because it really is a safe place. Hi, everyone who has joined since I started um, talking. Let's see. Okay. So I'm Jan Copeland, sales strategist and real estate coach at the Libby Girl Success Boutique and founder with my sister, Judy, my twin sister. We're fraternal, so we don't look that much alike, and I'm much taller. Anyway, um, <laughs> we started Girl's Guide. All right, here we go. By the way, do you know that we have Inman and other real estate bigwigs in this community? We actually have 
a talent scout from a show on HGTV in here. So, if you want a show on HGTV, be active in the Girl's Guide. Wink, wink. Okay? All right. Hey, you know what? A little later, I'm going to talk to you about how we can get together, right? Because so many people say, gosh, you know, it's such a sisterhood. I sure wish that we could get together. Well, guess what? We have that opportunity at a conference that's called She's Unstoppable Live. She's Unstoppable Live. It's going to be April 9th and 10th. Registration is open, which is why I have my balloons here. But I want to get into some meat really quick because I have to keep an eye on time for reasons that I just mentioned. So if you want to meet each other, have cocktails together, shop together, meet and greet with big wig women, I'll call it that way, in real estate. We are working with some heavy hitters, some you may not know and some you know. So we're really excited about that, but you're going to get to meet them within a VIP experience and you're going to learn from these ladies. Some are going to be speakers, some are going to be on a powerhouse panel, and it's just amazing, all right? And we have early bird pricing for you through the end of the year. So when the clock strikes, when the clock strikes midnight and it turns January 1st, 2019, the price goes up for the tickets. And we can fit 700 ladies in there, and we are going to fit 700 ladies in there, okay? I'm excited. All right. Let's get to the scripts. The first one is, you know how job one is intentional connecting, right? If you don't connect slash lead gen, you're not going to have a business, okay? So when you meet someone out at a networking event um, or you just meet someone and you feel a connection with them, my strong recommendation is that you get a one-on-one -on -one with them. And you know that I'm a big believer in video text right now. So I would, like if I'd meet somebody at a networking event that, that intrigued me, that I want to get to know more, that I think um, we might be able to collaborate, or that I think that he or she is connected and that they can help me get where I'm going. And conversely, I want to meet them and find out more about what they're doing to see how I can help them. You want to schedule one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm big on saying, hey, George, it was great meeting you yesterday at the such and such. Um, just thought I'd send you a video text so you remember who I am. Wondering if we can um, have a coffee next week or grab breakfast next week. All right, so that's my recommendation. Immediately, as immediately after the event or the place that you met them as possible. So that part is not the um, conversation so much. But, um, but when you get there, the, the script or conversation is that you are asking questions, okay? And so if we get there, you know, oh, can I get you a coffee, breakfast, whatever. Like I always met at Panera. Stephanie knows Panera was my place. Um, uh, maybe yours is Starbucks, but why not get a place that's yours? And then when you walk in, everybody that works there is like, hey, hey. And that makes you look like a very successful connected realtor, okay? So find your place. That's you. But basically, when you go in there, once you sit down, you say, hey, thanks so much, Susie, for meeting with me because um, I just felt a real connection with you and I'd love to hear more about you and about your business. Who doesn't want to talk about that? You're not there to brag about yourself right now. That's not what you're there for. So you let them talk and you have a notebook or you take notes on your phone, whatever your style is. Because you got to be you. And then as they're talking, what it, how you respond to what they say. And so if they have a job or something that you really can't help them in their job, then find out about their family. So are you, are you married? Do you have kids? Whatever. Do you, have a, do you have a dog? Ask some questions like that. Because you want to get a connection point where you can then offer help to them. So if, or even if they say, yeah, my daughter's having a baby and she's worried about finding a good babysitter or whatever, good daycare, you make it your business to go find the best daycare so you can circle back and help that woman, help her daughter, okay? And that way, she's going to remember that. So, so the point of the one-on-one, -on -one, the script is, you're asking questions, 
You're asking dialogue so that you can get a connection, so that you can offer help. The human condition, Psychology 101, is that when you help someone, they in turn feel compelled to help you. And so, let's say you, you tell them, hey, we're just going to grab a coffee for 30 minutes, whatever. I always like to have my meetings like 30 minutes because I'm busy, we're busy, right? Um, and then have that conversation for a good 20 minutes. And then say, you know what, Susie, I would love to tell you, I know you meet, you know, a million realtors, right? In this market, we have 1,200 realtors, however many there are. And you should know how many realtors are in your market. Just call your local association and find out. Okay. And then you say, but I'm a little different. And is it okay if I share that with you? What are they going to say? No? Of course not. They're going to say yes. Okay. And that's when you have your connection story, what connects you to your client, which I don't have time to get into now, but, and then you have your, and your connection story is short. It's very short. Tells them how you're different, your passion, and how you connect to your perfect client or your ideal client. Because you want to be very niched and make sure that you share that with that person. These people will end up being, some of them, not all of them, because maybe you'll meet with them and you're like, oh, I can't stand this person. I don't want to meet with them ever again. That's okay. It's 30 minutes, right? So that's the point. So the number one is get one-on-one -on -one with people that you meet in networking situations and elsewhere. If you're at a holiday party, if you're at the grocery store, I don't care. Okay? All right. Secondly, when you are in the listing presentation, we talked before about the power of stories. So you can check back to the old, um, I think this is our 10th week together, check back to the old videos in Girl's Guide or Livy Girl's Success Boutique business page and you'll find that. But today what I'm gonna focus on is some powerful words that you speak to the homeowners just when you're done walking, showing the home. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to set the stage for you. So you've walked in. You've said, thank you so much for inviting me in. May I put my things down? And you put them down at the kitchen table. Then as you're walking with them behind you, you say, hey, who's going to be, I'd love to see your beautiful home. Who's going to be showing me? Who's leading the tour? Whoever speaks up, you acquiesce to that person, unless it's the man, in which case, as a woman, you always talk to the woman more than you talk to the man, out of respect, okay? All right. So now you've done that, and you're coming back to the table, okay? You're coming back to the kitchen table. And I would always, you know, kind of get comfy, get my, my pen and paper and my stuff out. And I'd say, you know, I am so excited that you invited me in today. And after meeting you and seeing this home, I definitely, definitely want to be your chosen listing agent. So as we get started, I want to share with you one simple fact. And that fact is that I know the buyer for this home. And then you be quiet. And you're probably thinking, but I don't know the buyer of the home. It's okay. You got their attention. And they're like, you do? And I say, that's what they always say, you do? And I say, of course I do. Because unlike other agents, we don't do cookie cutter marketing for our listings. No, what we do is we know the profile of the buyer who's likely gonna buy this home. And guess what, we're connected to them online. And that's where buyers are looking for houses. And so that's why you wanna choose me as your chosen agent. Boom, done. You started off with an amazing, amazing strength, passion, and confidence. Do you love that? Give me some love if you love that. That's strong, that's strong stuff. How are we doing on time? Okay. Um, all right, announcement, announcement. Here we go. Here is the reason for the balloons. Yay! I can't really see it. Yay! Okay. We are, we've launched. We are holding the amazing, one of a kind event that every woman agent should be at or they'll have fear of missing out. FOMO, like, times a million. It's called She's Unstoppable Live. So go to she'sunstoppablelive.com 
and you'll see our amazing lineup of speakers and what we're going to be doing. We're shopping, there's networking, there's a cocktail reception, and there's an ability to upgrade your uh, ticket to VIP access, which gets you face-to-face, nose-to-nose with some amazing people. But what I want to share with you is, you know, our keynote speaker is a woman who you may not know the name. So I'm going to describe her for you. She is rags to riches. This woman is the oldest of, I think, nine kids, eight kids. And when she was nine years old, her mother passed away. And her father was not, shall we say, involved very much. And so she had a hard upbringing. It was very trauma-filled. She became a teenage mother. Forbes, do you like Forbes? Forbes Magazine, you trust them, right? Forbes Magazine recently called this lady the richest self-made woman in real estate on the planet. Not just in the United States, on the planet. She is the CEO of Douglas Elliman, which is the preeminent quintessential luxury brand that's number one in the world for the luxury brand, Douglas Elliman. Her name is Dottie Herman. And Judy and I were thrilled. We are completely and utterly humbled and thrilled that she will be fully participating in our conference. She will be sharing from stage information about her life and how she went and used that trauma to give her power. And you can too, because we all have trauma at times in our lives. Off the charts, amazing ladies. We have Loida Velasquez. Loida is the, um, is the, she's an introvert. You wouldn't know it by watching her on YouTube. She is a YouTube sensation. She's going to be sharing with us. We have, we have an amazing social media person. We have a styling, a stylist. Go to the website. She's Unstoppable Live. Listen, the early bird price is $199 for two full days of transformational knowledge, education, fun with shopping. The first evening is a cocktail reception where we, you, you get to network and meet each other and these speakers, okay? You have the opportunity to. It's amazing. And if you know Judy and me, we don't do things halfway. We go all the way. So it will be quite an experience that you'll want to be a part of. But I have to say, the price goes up when the clock strikes, Jan strikes January 1st of 2019. We're not kidding about that. So we want you to get in at $199 per person. If you have a group of eight women, email us, as it says on the website, and we will tell you what that price would be. Now, um, it's all about secrets, success, sparkle. Who doesn't like bling? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so let's go on to our, our third script. But I do wanna offer you something special because you're kind of in the inner circle, right? Because you're watching this. I am taping this around 10 a.m. Eastern time on Friday. Is it Friday the 13th? I don't know what the date is. It's Friday, I don't know. Anyway, if you register today, if you register today, before midnight, you will get a complimentary strategy session, no obligation, where I guarantee that you're gonna leave that meeting, that strategy session. Thank you, Sandra, it's the 14th. I am going to give you a complimentary, free, no obligation strategy session for 30 minutes focused on you and your business. That's it. There you go. All right, you're gonna leave the call with actionable next steps. So what's the third conversation? The 
third conversation. What did I think for the third conversation? Uh, one on one. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. When something goes wrong. See, my headache is making me foggy a little bit. Ladies, ladies, ladies. On this call, I promise you, you'd have more confidence. I can assure you that if you practice that my script number two that I gave you, you're going you're gonna to close more listings. You're going to get, you're going to, you're going to increase your conversion rate or your close rate when you go on listing appointments. Guaranteed. Just make the words sound like you. But there's, there are going to be times when most of my clients come to me and they say, I'm scared that they might ask, my client or a prospect might ask me something that I don't know. Or, even worse, once we're down a path of being uh, an agent and a client, that something will go wrong and I just want to hide. I don't even want to deal with it. I don't even want to, I don't know what to say. So I'm going to share with you on both. Number one. Get confident. You got your license, okay? Doctors, they call it a practice, okay? They're still practicing. Why are doctors allowed to get go through their schooling and be allowed to call what they do a practice and they make mistakes, okay? And yet, they're not, they're, they're confident. They, they go about their business. Likewise, you went to the school, you got your, you, you have a license. Therefore, confident ladies, okay? If they don't, if they ask you a question you don't know, it's very simple. You say, oh, well, you know what? I am not 100% sure, and I always want to make sure that I deliver one, with 100% certainty um, answers for you. So give me just a few minutes, and I'll call you right back. Or if they're in front of you, just excuse yourself and go out somewhere and call your broker. Call someone who knows, okay? There's no shame in saying I'm, I'm like 75% sure, but let me go. I want to make sure that I verify this before I, sp I speak further. Great. Confidence, ladies, okay? Secondarily, when something goes wrong. First of all, things are going to go wrong. So you can expect that. So that's a good thing, right? That we can say, okay, it's just like in the Bible. It says, in life, things will go wrong. Okay, so... Likewise, in real estate, things will go wrong, right? How you handle it can change that catastrophe into uh, a client that is totally in love with you, compelled to, to stick with you and stick with you for life and refer you over and over again, if you handle it properly. So the minute you find out something went wrong, and I don't need to go into scenarios, we all know what goes wrong. Call them immediately. This is not an issue for email. This is not an issue for text. It is the voice. It is even taking a video and saying, George, I just found out this happened with the buyer and I am working on it by doing X, X, and X. And I just wanted to give you a heads up that something came up, I'm working on it, and I will make sure that your interests are protected and we'll get you to closing. Um, being proactive is best because waiting and, th and thinking well they'll never know um and things like that well then when they call you now you're in a reactionary state they're going to nail your nail your head or body to the wall and now you're in a defensive posture and it's not going to end well okay so always be proactive and assure the client proactively that hey we just found this out i've already taken care of it by doing this so we're good that's the best way to do it. When you find out about something, do whatever you need to do to get it rectified. Go to your broker. Go to the lender. Take proactive steps. The problem with many agents is that we sit back and we try to be reacting. You're not going to be powerful. You're not going to be outrageously successful until you can be proactive and know what to do next. And if you're not sure what to do, that's what the Girl's Guide to Outrageous Real Estate Success group is for. That's why I give my phone number, 540-931-5050. And, you know, friend me. And then you can send me private messages, okay? So we got some good stuff today, right? 
if you want these scripts, I cannot get them to you until next Tuesday, okay? Because I've looked at my calendar. If you want them, then I want you to write yes, please in the comment section. Yes, please, exclamation point. That's what I want. If you say yes, I'm not going to get them to you. And you can say, wow, she's a you know what, but you know what? It's not about that. It's about, it's about we're adults. And so just go ahead and, and do what I request. <laughs> okay. All right. It is my sincere pleasure to help you at all times. And today, again, I gave you gold. And the reason I say that is because we're girls and we love gold and um, we're valuable. And so I intend to help you 100% as much as I can, whether you're my client or just my friend. So I thank you for um, your prayers for my son and for my headaches um, that just started and won't go away. Anyway, I went to bed at 9.30 last night, which never happens. I'm up until like 12.30, and so, yeah. But I'm sure I'll be fine, and I look forward to seeing all of your yes pleases, and then I will get that to you on Tuesday. And please go to she's unstoppable live com. She's unstoppable live com and check out who's coming and we have even more. So have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.